I did have general questions in general. Like I know okay. in the videos that you sent me for, well, like the videos you, that you sent me were uh, pretty good. It's just, I had questions because my mm -hmm. cousin would tell me one thing, um, but then the videos would kind of say the other thing. Like he kept saying to kind of like lean into the weight and then kind of like pull back. Whereas the videos that you showed me, you were like, hey, pack the shoulders and then just kind of do it. Yes. Am I supposed to lean more forward and then like pull back or he said to like do the full extension of it, but this is a very uh, good question, mostly due to the fact that it's a thing I have been seeing more and more of. Um, and when it comes to a lot of things in the fitness world, the the answer is almost never a hard yes or hard no. It's more like a but why uh, or what is the intention? And in this particular case, when we're talking about intention, uh, we're talking about what we're trying to target here. So the muscles that we're really looking to target very specifically are lats, rhomboids, um, maybe a little posterior delt um, and your traps on like the lower end of things. So like maybe mid as the highest point and then all everything lower, that's okay for activation. Um, but the lower back, erector spinae, so that's not really what we're, we're not looking to target that. And so when we're talking about that sort of lean forward and lean back, that hinging motion, the rector spinae is, is that's its its major function in terms of allowing that motion to be possible and facilitating it. Uh, so if we're not looking to target it, why would we do that? Now, if we're talking about full extension of the arms in order to get as much um, out of the motion as humanly possible, then the most we really need to worry about is full extension of the arms. And once we've reached that point, we're good. I've been also been seeing a lot of people doing the what I would guess called referred to as like the cave and reset, which I, again, not necessarily wrong, but the question then becomes why. And when it comes down to it, especially for people who are first like really starting out and they're trying to learn, like strengthen and get better at certain things, especially when we're talking about postural changes. So someone trying to strengthen posture uh, and reinforce certain positions, there are few reasons I could think of that I would want an individual to extend under load for a, a, a cable, a seated cable row, row, and then pull back. Firstly, being that we're there's no, I don't really want this part. I don't need it. That's not necessary. This is what we're fighting in the first place. One and two, because we're caving and having to reset, I now have to rely on someone to have the proprioception and the strength across the entirety of the set through every repetition to extend and then reset against load back to proper position. I, I mean, my first question is I like, can't even get to proper position in the first place. That might, that's challenging. It takes time to learn and wrap your head around and get comfortable with and become proficient enough to go, okay, boom, I'm in the right position. I can hold this throughout the entirety of the set, but then to move that into and now break it and reset it and break it, and reset it and break it and reset it and be confident that you're going to reset back to the proper point each time that's risky business it becomes more challenging and yes it's on an advanced level yeah there's definitely some people who i'd say yeah let's give that a go um there's an entire protocol i run with although it's a much more simplified version of it where uh, I sometimes refer to it as like the bat wing where uh, the entire motion, it's like a stripped down version of the cable row where instead of actually rowing, what you're doing is just break, reset. It's like the whole mm -hmm. intention of the motion is then to strengthen rhomboids in the full range and also acclimate you know, the individual to breaking and resetting. Once you've mastered that, of course, now you're able to do that against load. And so we can move that into an actual motion and reliably break, reset, break, reset throughout every repetition. Um, right. But I would not want to do that at the start. It just doesn't make a lot of sense to me um, yeah. from a practical perspective, like trying to like teach the person in a very foundational and build upon it type fashion. That's something that would come later, in my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. And I would work my way up to it. Uh, and again, also only use it if it fe I felt it was very much necessary. Now, in your case, again, we're talking about postural improvements. And so, yes, that's definitely something that down the line, I definitely see as being a thing that could be valuable. But again, mm -hmm. there are a lot of like caveats to that. The first one being like, when you're ready for it, two, 
practicing mm -hmm. sort of basic elements of it before we integrate into the full motion. And three, um, also making sure that we have a good understanding as to what you're capable in terms of strength and weight um, that you're putting on, on in resistance so that we're not overexerting ourselves and getting to a point yeah. where like near the end of the set, your ability to break and reset is basically gone because you're just struggling so hard against the resistance, right? So mm -hmm. all that to say, not wrong, but not right right now. Yes. I hear you. Okay. So yeah, um, so yeah. In, in this case, like to start out, just foundational stability is going to be key, mm -hmm. uh, and this will help not only with giving you less to focus on instead of having to like focus on the lean and the reach and the pull and the resetting, you'll have less to worry about on that end. So that's one okay. benefit there. Two is the fact that again, like I said, we're reinforcing the strengthening and the, the correction of the posture. We're looking to pull those mm -hmm. shoulders back and bring you into that sort of correct, sort of more neutral posture instead of that anterior rotation that we were, that you've been experiencing. So uh, yeah, I think eventually yes, but not right now. Okay, sounds good.